สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Monday, July 22nd, and I'm your host JP Mestanza. Let's start with our top story. Officials are confirming that a second body was found in the sea between Phuket and p p yesterday, confirmed as that of the other Filipino man who disappeared in the strong surf at Freedom Beach on Phuket last Wednesday. The body of missing tourist 29-year-old Angelo Cortez was found yesterday near g o k i a o at about midday by a fisherman and brought to Chalong Pier in Phuket at about 5 p.m., where officials confirmed his identity. Cortez, along with 40-year-old Noah Ibe, both disappeared in a strong surf on Wednesday. The body of Ibe was found on Friday afternoon. Both men had been part of a group of 13 people who came to Phuket. Six of them went to Freedom Beach on Wednesday to swim in the sea, and only four of them returned safely. Ibe and Cortez were swept away by high seas and strong currents. Attempted murder charges could be filed against a roti pancake vendor after he used a cleaver knife to slash an Egyptian tourist in the neck on Phuket's famed Muay Thai road s o i t a y e r in c h e l o n g on Friday night. Police were notified at about 7:40 p.m. about the stabbing and arrived at the scene in front of Family Mart shop on the road in c h e l o n g to find the foreigner lying on the ground with a bleeding 7-centimeter wound in the back of his neck. The 29-year-old man, identified as Mahmoud Abbas, he was rushed to a local hospital for necessary surgery. The suspect was a roti pancake vendor, identified as 32-year-old Surachai r a k s u p who was arrested at the scene and taken to c h e l o n g Police Station. While the knife was also seized as evidence, although police did not elaborate on what exactly happened, local reports say that the vendor claimed the tourist was using foul language while waiting for a roti pancake, and in retaliation, the vendor grabbed a cleaver and attacked the customer. Reports online say that Abbas is expected to make a full recovery. And while police did not report whether they have filed attempted murder charges against Surachai. Authorities did share a photo of the suspect with a whiteboard, saying attempted murder and carrying a weapon in public. For more on this, visit the PhuketNews.com. Starting this October, officials in Bangkok are set to revamp Thailand's famed Backpacker Street, k h a o s a n Road, which include vendor zoning, repaved footpaths, and more. The whole thing is meant to make k h a o s a n Road one of Bangkok's best-known tourist attractions, according to Deputy Bangkok Governor s a k o l t i p a t u t i y a k o l And while in, and will involve repaving the sidewalks to make them level all the way down to the entire road, also designating clear areas for vendors with one and a half by two meter stall spaces, as well as building 60 centimeter high collapsible railings to divide the sidewalks and the road. 240 vendors will be allowed to sell on k a o s a n Road footpaths from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., according to Deputy Governor, with permits from one to two years, and no push carts or vendors will be allowed to encroach on the actual road. The whole project is expected to start this October, with scheduled completion set for February of next year, all at a cost of 48 million baht. p u k e t a s h i p right back after this. Visit us in Patan or InkInAsia.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. After a suspected insurgent was found unconscious while in custody at a military camp in the southern province of Patani over the weekend, he was sent to a local hospital, and now an expedited investigation is being ordered to find out what exactly happened. Over the weekend, authorities received information that implicated 34-year-old Abdullah e s o r Musor in insurgent activities, suspected of taking part in several attacks in the province. After he was arrested on Friday at his home and taken to a military camp for questioning, he underwent a checkup to confirm he was fit to be interviewed. 
After the questioning, Abdullah was taken to another room at the military camp to rest at about 9.30 p.m. on Friday. And six hours later, a guard found him unconscious in the room, and he was rushed to the camp hospital for first aid, then to Patani General Hospital, where doctors said he had no bruising on his body, but he had swelling in the brain, where they said that could have occurred either when he passed out or during resuscitation. An inquiry is now taking place, although the 4th Army Region Command is saying they are open to having southern-based human rights advocacy groups conduct an independent investigation into the incident. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket's top officials, along with Deputy P Public Health Minister Sati Pituticha, held a public awareness event at Central Festival Phuket yesterday to highlight food hygiene standards in Phuket with a special focus on Pad Thai. The event follows Australian couple Stacey Barnes and Ryan Prigg claiming that a meal of pad thai they ate at a Phuket food court during a family holiday back in 2017 ruined their lives and their business for more than a year. During the event, vendors cooked pad thai with free servings dished out to the public and photo ops for the governor, Phuket city mayor, and other local high-ranking officials. The whole thing was to not only highlight Phuket's food, but also to ensure the public that Phuket officials encourage and enforce business operators about safe food standards and hygiene, saying that all 540 registered food vendors in Phuket, which was declared a UNESCO Creative City of Gastronomy designated back in 2015, they're all certified under the Good Taste Clean Food campaign. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. And if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.